Hi, how are you doing everybody? This is your current energy reading. I'm going to be pulling three cards on the table. Uh, I really hope you can pick a card. Uh, pick. Um, I'm going to be pulling up three cards. What is the thought card? Um, there we go. All right. So, uh, this will be a good time to pick a card, of course. Um, ready? You got one, two, and three. You ready? Is you ready? If you chose card number one, um, some sort of duty in this life, uh, your calling, uh, it's really cherished by people around you. People really value you uh, more than you think. Um, you might be providing some sort of service around this time. Uh, your job, you really feel like um, you don't see it as a big deal. That's what I see. However, people around you really, 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 I, feel, I wanna say this, they can't live without you. I know that sounds like a bit too much, but yeah, people really uh, look up to you and they come towards you for relief, for balance within their life. They come towards you to really uh, improve their life, their health, whatever they're going on. You might be a shaman, you might be a leader, uh, but whatever, wherever you provide to the people, to society, to the community, people really value it, you know, people really look up to it, and people um, are really amazed by what you do. Uh, your time is really valued to them, you know. I know they understand that you are one in a million. They could easily get it for somebody else, but whatever you're doing right now, that is quite disrespectful. Uh, whatever you're doing at this time, you know, it's really, um, it's really valued in terms of uh, you got it going. Let me see, is there anything card number one uh, needs to know? Uh, the death card. Um, I feel like you have to close out a chapter in your life. I feel like you have to close out so something in your life is there done over with. Uh, there's no need to go back to it. Uh, just close it out, you know, just keep the door shut because you have outgrown a situation. You have truly, truly outgrown a situation, you know. Balance out your finances, balance out your energy, uh, balance out how you feel, balance out your emotional side and your physical side. Um, it's about time you move on from a situation to go and focus on um, giving yourself uh, what that love what matters to you you know uh, maybe you might have been caught up in a, in a situation where you've been giving too much it's about time you start giving to yourself you know you gotta you gotta remember that you matter more than anything what does card number one need to know the star card um, the star card with the world card. Uh, I really feel like by you attracting your energy, by you uh, starting to focus on your financial life in general, uh, just how much you save and keep, uh, trying to not overindulge in one habit and leave yourself lacking in another, I feel like it's going to push you towards your star, your goal. You're going to be having more hope of your future, you know, you're going to be seeing your future a bit more clearly. By you closing out one chapter, you're going to really be seeing the future in a clear view. With the star card, you're dealing with an Aquarius, and the Aquarius really provide uh, hope for the future. This is a time you're coming towards. Uh, your goals, your ambition, your plans, whatever you are working towards to, I really feel like you're going to be getting there. It's just that walk away, balance yourself out, balance your energy, how much you spend, how much you keep. Um, really, don't forget that you're really valued. Whatever you do, do it from your heart, do it from uh, love, do it with a smile on your face because people really, really, really cherish what you provide. And uh, by you providing time to the people and by you giving time to yourself to focus on your future, I really f I feel like it puts you in a place where the world is um, 
there, there is no limits to what you can do. New cycles, uh, you feel like you're going to have a story to tell in your life, you know. I know it might not seem like it's that interesting, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you have new chapters because people really, really, really cherish your presence more than anything and anybody uh, around. So please, what you do, put on a smile, really enjoy your life because you're really valued. Uh, you might be an Aquarius with a death card, you might be Scorpio or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo with the Pentacles, but I really, really feel like you should be keeping your eyes on what you do and how you approach the situation. Because most of all, your goals are closing in, your destination is closing in. So the best way to, it's like, I'm going to have fun when I get where I want to go. But no, that's not what I'm saying here. I feel like you need to have fun right now. You know, enjoy yourself along the way. It's the journey. It's not the destination. It's just the journey. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy every single day. Because people cherish your time, your presence, and um, they know your value. You know? So really, at this time, really keep your eyes on the goal and the price. Focus on yourself. Give yourself some time. If you have to close out a chapter, close it. If you have to close a door, close it. Because you have truly outgrown a situation. There is no need for you to go back. It's like, bro, look, everybody in this situation is kind of like that shit. However, look at you, man. You have truly outshone and everybody. It's kind of like it's not even a fair game, you know. It's not even a fair play. It's kind of like you're the king of the of the shit, you know, King, king Kong uh, in a what? In a zoo? <laughs> it's like even the gates can't keep them because it's like on the, the, the boulders are fucking like not even the tall height, you know. It's kind of like you can... Bro, I'm gonna just jump through and walk out. You know, at this time, just understand your values because you, you have really grown and improved that yourself, you know. That's card number one. Card number one. I really, I don't know why this guy's been trying to spin out in reverse. I really do not know why. Oh, the love bus is behind. I didn't even notice that. Okay. Oh, that's my fault. My bad. But the lovers being behind the Queen of Pentacles, you might be having a partner, a partner coming in for you, uh, a lover of the interest, somebody who, um, who you share interest, who you guys have mutual interest within each other, or just a connection. Um, but things need to be worked on. Uh, just try out different things. I feel. Um, Think about how you go by a situation. Anyway, uh, let's stay done with. Let's let's go with um. Cut number two. If you chose cut number two, you get the seven of wands. You might be feeling like there's a lot of competition in the situation you're in. You might be feeling like there's a lot of competition in the dynamic of your life. Uh, you might be feeling like uh, there's just so much going going around you that it feels overwhelming. But just focus on you, mind you, focus on your uh, destination. Because at this time, I feel like uh, your ideas are really prevailing and people might be wanting to really bring you down on their level. However, it's just an energy of... Uh, God, you start off with the world cut off the bat. I really feel like what... Oh my goodness, seven of, seven of cups. Whatever you do. Focus on what you do, your skills, your talents. I don't care who else is saying, I need your attention, I need your time, I need this and this and this from you. Focus on your, uh, your job, your duty at this time. You know, focus on your skills. It's really shining, you know, really, really shining. Because that's why people want you to come down on their level. Because they see you like, oh man, they are too OP, they are too high, you know. Or just they are too different from all of us. You know, everybody wants you to be the same. Like, why? Why would you want me to be the same, you know? I'm, I'm the one who's leading up the trends. I'm the one who's opening up the door for everybody. I'm the one who's really opening up. This card wants to come in reverse. If you chose card number one at some point, be careful, you might be a bit, you know, people might be draining give your energy too much. Are we good now? Thank you. Um, dang. <laughs> with the world card, with the world card, I feel like you have new beginnings in your life. New experiences are waiting for you. New feelings you haven't been experiencing or you haven't experienced. Or you haven't even got to a level yet, but you're just in the level of... Uh, Maybe you are, if this is business, you are on the intern level where you have to deal with a lot of uh, 
people who they're riding the same wave. However, you have already exceeded that. You know, you have you you are you are on a whole new level. You know, and people are like, come down to our level. It's kind of like no, no. I'm already. I, I love how she's pointing up. I, I'm ready to go up. You know, I'm ready. I'm. I have a place to be. I have a place to go. You know, stop dragging me down. Stop pulling me down. You get the high priestess. Yeah. Wherever you, whatever, wherever you go, whatever you do. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Give your intuition a second. With the sun card, I feel like it's gonna lead you to happiness. Just listen to yourself. Heal, heal. You know, uh, whatever you, you you're having this nurturing energy, this caring energy, and you're having this uh, mothery energy, this divine feminine energy at this point. It's like people wonder how you're doing things. No, I'm just listening to myself. I'm just giving myself a moment. I know that there are new beginnings, new chapters in my life that are coming in for me. I know that there are new. Um, new gates of life are opening up for me. I know I have to write new chapters with my book. However, it's kind of like, listen to your intuition, what your intuition has to say. And with the sun card, with the sun card, I'm truly getting there's going to be a happy union that's taking place. It might be something you truly want or just a happiness in your life that's coming through at this, at this point. However, I'm truly, truly getting an energy of, um, you might be you might be coming in contact with somebody who makes you really happy, or just you're achieving some you're you're achieving your goal where where um, you feel like you have new experiences, new beginnings, and uh, I feel like you come in contact with somebody, or you get to a point of your life where you feel really happy and excited of how much progress you have been making. With the high priestess, retract your energy because not everybody in the same aroma in the same area wishes you good people are like be like us be like us be like us be like us no fuck you be like you and not be like me who gives a shit you know just do you mind you you know um if you're in a setting where just you feel like there's too much competition. Don't even worry about that, man. If you're dealing with somebody who has a lot of competition, or if you feel like you're an option, there, don't worry about it. You want in a million. You are different because I'm telling you, you shining at this time. The world card and the sun card, you don't know how much this truly means in terms of uh, if I just show you cards like this. But when you experience it, you're going to really feel it. It's like a new door of your life, a new a cycle just a new feeling of relief you know you feeling a bit excited i see you really being too excited that you retract your energy you pull back you become a bit closed off because you're like there is no way i should have got this there's no way i should have gotten this level but you deserve it you deserve it whatever you've been going through whatever you've been truly putting your head down you deserve it and the world card is truly telling me i want to say the sun card but the world i keep going to the world card is going you might be even traveling the world you might be having like the world is your is not even a limitation at this point it's kind of like the world is yours and with the sun card is going you're going to be really happy excited let's keep it going you know you're going to be happy happiness Planting seeds for your future. Imagine feeling happy not by really fighting and causing chaos, but happiness between you healed yourself. Happiness between because you went through a whole journey. Oh fuck, I forgot. If you chose card number three. Eight of Pentacles reverse. If you chose card number three, Eight of Pentacles reverse, take a break. You know, rest, rest. You might be really, um, really draining your energy quite a bit. Really pushing your gears to overtime. You know, there might be a need for you to uh, take your eyes off uh, what you've been truly working on, and you know, look on the other side of things. Just. You maybe have been really exhausting your engines, just um, exhausting yourself, your brain. And let's admit it, when we want um, our rewards to come through, we truly, we don't care how much we burn out. Yeah, be careful of burning yourself out. 
we, we don't mind we don't mind we just keep on walking there's a big time there's there, there was a big need for you to pull back a bit you know just retract your energy for quite a bit i really get an energy of somebody who's uh, walking their uh body their mind stressed i want you to keep one thing in mind uh let me explain something and i know this might be wanting or something however i want you to keep something in mind your body your soul and your mind your body is not truly yours your body is given to you you know you're supposed to treat it good look after it take care of it hear it let's give it a moment to hear what it says you know sometimes we we kind of ignore that like what do you mean by uh listen to it let's say you've been maybe um cheating i don't want to say cheating but you've been slacking i don't even want to say slacking you've been uh maybe you put your exercising on pause you know you've been just walking coming home resting and it's kind of like your body is just it needs that fun time it needs that play time you know you can understand your heart needs to really beat your heart your heart needs to be pu pushed to the limits uh your mind needs to be distracted from the cycles you've been going through your mind needs to really feel a room of ex escape you know um your skin needs to feel the sun, you know, your feet need to touch the ground. There's that energy of please retract quite a bit because what you are really indulging in is going to be a circle, endless circle. So just put that circle in pose. And maybe at this time you might be truly, truly, truly wanting something so bad that you just want to uh, push, you know, your limits. But don't, you know, don't. Feel love if there is a love uh, partner around you. Uh, if you're dealing with uh, people who you share interests, people of mutual uh, feelings, just, uh, you know, enjoy that. If you're dealing with a lover in your life, twin flame, just somebody who's uh, uh, who cares about you, spend some time with them. You know, it's not always good to indulge in uh, uh, overworking ourselves or just, just trying to push ourselves. It never truly works out. Because we burn out. We burn out so easy. Maybe being too defensive about a situation. Drop that guard, you know. You maybe in the past something hurt you or you just you were going through changes. Release that uh guard. You know, I, I really get a strong energy of release yourself. Release release. Release yourself from the cycles, from um give your, give yourself some break. Anyway, what does card number three need to know? What does card number three need to know? What does card number three need to know? The four. You have new beginnings coming in for you. Uh, new journeys, new experiences. You have... Um, yeah, you're being, you're being encouraged to live in the moment. With the Knight of Swords in reverse following that, don't take any actions towards any situation you have on mind. You might be feeling like it's a big opportunity or it's a big score. You feel like um, you have to be there. You have to... Uh, no, right now is a hold off. Don't don't take any action towards any situation. You feel like, um, yeah, I have to go. I have to... No. Pull back, hold back. With the food, just enjoy the time being. Enjoy the experience of the area. Enjoy the new waters. The new life you're being blessed with. What does that, what does card number three need to know? Yeah, here, friend, there is a commitment that's coming in for you. And it comes with a union with the sun and the magician. You have all the tools you need to bring this to life. It might be contract signing. You know, you're doing something you love and enjoy. And, uh, you know, your work hasn't started yet. Or you're just uh, in the moment of, uh, excuse me just in the pleasant moment of uh you know enjoying yourself any action you want to take hold because um i 
feel like you want something strong, solid. I might be talking to a Taurus uh, or Capricorn Virgo with a pentacle, but again, strong Taurus. However, uh, I, I just feel like, um, you know, sometimes we gotta take a leap of faith, you know, be free, be a free spirit. Uh, there's going to be a union. Just be happy. You deserve to be happy. There is no need for you to truly uh, exhaust yourself out. Make room for happiness. Um, with a magician, I'm getting the energy of uh, everything you want to bring to life. Every every idea, every you can manifest anything you want. It's just that when you manifest work, you keep on doing work. If you're not manifesting love, if you're not manifesting uh, commitment or, or fun, it's just you're going to be getting that work over and over and over and over again. But just make room for happiness. You still have this power to manifest anything you want in any direction you want. It's just that give yourself a break in terms of enjoy your life. Yeah, I feel like that's it. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. And uh, that's it.